Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. All right, man, Shakir Stevenson thinks Terrence Crawford can move up and beat Canelo Alvarez, hypothetically. Uh, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. We talked about what I think about Crawford and Canelo. Look that up. Just put their, my YouTube name in and search Terrence Crawford and Floyd Mayweather. My YouTube name in there should come up. Not going to go over that, but again, but uh, in theory, yeah, but they make weight classes for a reason. Canelo is not accommodating any fighter, black fighter, white fighter, Mexican fighter. He not coming back down. He not coming into the ring with no disadvantage. So you beat Canelo Alvarez. We can fake it. You know, I was listening to Coach Malachi show and the guy come on like, why, why don't people like Canelo Alvarez and, and this, that, and the third dude? Bro, it's, it's like, dude, it, it ain't hard. It ain't hard to tell like nah, I said. This dude got to have a, every advantage coming into the ring. Not saying he ain't he ain't a nice fighter. For sure, he can fight his ass off. But, you know, if he fighting Amir Khan, then, you know, the, you know he want to come in as heavy as possible. If he fighting somebody bigger, then he want to drain him. That's why he couldn't beat Dimitri Bivol, because he couldn't drain Dimitri Bivol. And he got whooped on. So he needs some type of major advantage or major advantages just to beat guys. It's like, man, you get enough of that shit, bro. You get enough of it, dude. That's not, that's not, you know, people look at his resume, so he fought him, him, but when, where, and, and how. And, you know, that's one thing about box rec. They don't tell you all the story. At all. In theory, Terrence Crawford got the skill set to beat Ter in Canelo Alvarez. But it's just too much weight. He would have to go up to 168 pounds. Earl didn't have a bad chance in hell to do shit with him at 168. He didn't have a chance. He didn't possess the skill set. He don't possess the speed. He don't possess the athletic. Nothing. He had, he had no chance. That fight literally probably would have went three rounds maximum. Just too much weight. You got to understand, that's 21 pounds where Errol Spence campaigned at. Think about if you make a seven pound jump to 154 pounds, you know how much change at 154 pounds? The gloves go up two ounces. I mean, you got a six five motherfucker walking around, fighting around at, at, at 154 pounds. You got a 160, you got another six five dude in the, uh, Diego Pacheco fighting there. It, it, it's, 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 it's a lot to ask. It's a tremendous amount to ask. Real talk. It's a tremendous amount to ask anybody to get in there and, and fight. And I'm just being real. It's a tremendous amount to ask somebody to get in there and, and move up that amount of weight. That's a welterweight. Yeah, you had Tommy Hearns. They were big. Felix Trinidad, they were big. But Crawford at his third weight class, I think a fourth is a stretch to ask him to go up there and do his thing. It's not out the realm of possibility. But in theory, would he have a skill set? Absolutely. Now, he ain't going to do it how Floyd did it. Because Floyd is Floyd and, you know, Terrence Crawford is Terrence Crawford. So he not going to dispatch. He not going to dispatch Floyd Mayweather in the way that Terrence Crawford did. I mean, the way, you know, this past Canelo way Floyd Mayweather did. Not at all. Not at all. You can forget about it. But, but, you know, he does have skills. He got long arms, he's athletic, but so, I mean, sparring bigger guys and fighting bigger guys is a totally different thing. I spar heavyweights. Who was the heavyweight? <laughs> the nigga in the back corner who just learned the box? No. Now, Canelo got down to 160. I mean, you know, that's a... Then you got Terrence Crawford still coming up. 13 pounds? What is it? What is it? Is it 13 pounds? 
Yeah, 13, you still got him coming up 13. That's still a lot of weight. Now, if Canelo still was at 54 and Crawford was at 47, it'd be interesting. Canelo in his 30s now, bro. He didn't grew in at 168 and fought at 175. And even Crawford going up to 47, 54, you don't know if that's a weight class out as true. He looked his best physically at 147. You know, he definitely had a skill set to make Terrence Canelo Alvarez look bad. Floyd was offensive, but he always defensively responsible. Then I don't think he took one clean shot from Canelo. Floyd ain't as defensively minded or defensively as responsible. I mean, Terrence is not as defensive responsible as Floyd because he offensive minded. You know. But as far as his, his arsenal, he can try different things. In my opinion, I think he more multi I think he more multi-dimensional than even Floyd Mayweather was. You know? He is. I mean, and and the Floyd credit, Floyd had hand injuries, so he couldn't be as offensive as he wanted to be, like he was at 35 and moving around and all that stuff. So that version of Floyd, he had to count he had to count on one twos and Throwing one or two shots at a time and stuff. He couldn't really throw his... Mm. So you don't know how good he could have been physically if he would have been 100% with the hands. So you ain't even talking about the best version of Floyd Mayweather at 47, 54, and stuff of that nature. So, But he definitely had a skill. He definitely has the skills to beat you know, Canelo Alvarez. But it's the weight. The weight is just too much. The Not even just, just, just power, just physically... The, you know, physically, you know, can you get his respect? They know well to wait whooping Canelo Alvarez ass and moving up to 68. Not right now. Not right now. Might be some that can go the distance. Might be some, but that's a lot of weight to put on. But from a skill standpoint of view, like Shakira was talking to, absolutely. Skill for skill, it ain't even no comparison. Canelo Alvarez ain't nowhere near fucking with Terrence Crawford on a skill skill for skills. Nowhere near. I don't think it's the Canelo do one thing better than Terrence Crawford. I'm talking about speed, you know, I'm talking about speed, counter punching, jab, straight right, left hook, righty, lefty, footwork. The boy don't lose many rounds. Dominant. Canelo be having all these advantages. This motherfucker don't even dominate. He be having 115, 113s. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But then again, it's weight class for a reason. They said a, 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 a good little man, a good big man beat a great big man. A little, I mean, a great little man. It is what it is. It is what it is. He's okay, you know, they same height and you know, Crawford arms longer, man. And Canelo is a naturally physically bigger guy. He didn't grew way more than when he beat at 54. Way more. And them them just is facts. So too much weight. I said the same thing for Errol Spence. I'll listen to Floyd or Earl need to go up to 60, 68. You take his ass up to 68 and see what happened to his ass. Go on up there. Go on up there. You gonna see? You gonna you gonna you gonna want to see a dead body? Crawford, Crawford, bring his ass up there too and see what happened to him. Talking about these dudes putting on twenty one pounds. This shit. And boxing terminology. That's the equivalent of you going out there being two hundred pounds and you fighting a two hundred eighty pound man. Shit, maybe even three hundred pound man. It's too much weight. Too much weight. But that's why they got the pound for pound list. That's why they got it. That's why they got it. That's why they got it. So, it is what it is. Um... Let me know what you girls and guys think.
but y'all be y'all be thinking like y'all be thinking like oh it's only seven pounds man that jumped from 47 to 54 from 40 to 47 from 35 to, that's why they put them fucking catch weight weight classes in there and that's exactly why they put them catch weight weight classes in there that's exactly why Real talk, that's exactly why they put them in there. No, but hey, it is what it is. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. The subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Kick. Spotify, Anchor, Cash, well, everywhere. I'm everywhere. Appreciate y'all for supporting the channel. Check me out on Kick. It's a brand new streaming platform, man. Um, it's free to watch over there. I guess you can make your profile, follow it, hit the link tree, take you right over there. Peace.